YouTube. It's your girl, Mama D, and I'm back again with another video. What's up? 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 What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be doing a story time video. I want to talk about this one time where I was dating a guy and I'm now officially engaged to a woman. Why well, I'm breathing but so after damn? After this story, y'all would definitely see why I'm engaged to a woman. Because they, because they loyal. Anyways, I was. These niggas ain't loyal. Wasn't like we wasn't like really in a couple. We wasn't a couple. We never decided that we was gonna be a couple. We was basically just friends with benefits. And one day, um, basically, me and my girlfriend, we had no. She wasn't even in the picture yet. But basically, I had came down from Orlando to visit my hotel for a pitch. Shout out to 772 <laughs> and both 7 and 865 now. But, anyways, um, I used to mess around with this dude, and I'm not gonna say any name because he's irrelevant, boo. And he. <laughs> He hits my phone up after he finds out that I'm in town. And to make a long story short, I went over to his crib. He wanted to hang out with me for some reason. He hit me up. He was like, you want to chill? I was like, hey, yeah, because he's like the turn out king. The man, you feel me? He's the turn out king or whatever. Yes, I am in the bathroom because this is the only way I can do my video without any interruptions. Y'all see that shower rod that Mimi was hanging from? And... <laughs> the whole day fell. Yeah. Long story that short. I made the shower curtain rod right? fall, so please excuse me. But I went over, hung out with him. I met his mom before. I met his stepdad before. I met his son before. I seen his baby mama on Facebook, but I never actually met her before. But I go over there. We chill. Do what grown folks do. <laughs> and... After we do what grown folks do, he has the nerve, put me in a car, passenger seat, taking me home. When we get home, I find out this dude had a whole girlfriend while I was gone. Like, a whole girlfriend. And after we pull up in my yard, my yard... Another car pulls up behind us, like, on the side of the road. Like, at my house, my house was, like, on Front Street. So, this is my house here. This is the street, like, literally right in front of my house. Like, there's my house. We have some yard in the front, the mailbox, and then that's the street right there in front. We was basically on Front Street in that neighborhood. But it, the neighborhood that we stayed in, it was, like, a suburbs. I wouldn't really call it a suburbs, but... It was kind of like that because once you get on our street, which was 33rd Street, once you made that left, you go down the road and as you literally, you can literally look down the road and my house is sitting right there on Front Street. No joke. And he pulls up in my yard. Like my house is here. We had like a, a whole bunch of grass right here. And I, we had a big behind backyard. And... As we're pulling up in my yard, okay, this is my house. This is the grass area. We had like a whole bunch of grass area over here. And then in front of this window that used to be a garage, they turned it into a room, which was my sister's room at the time. This is our driveway right there. And he pulls up in the driveway. And once he pulls up in the driveway, a car pulls up. 
behind us, like literally behind us on the side of the street, a car pulls up. And a girl gets out the car and she comes up to the window like, this man, I'm not even going to say his name. But I'm just going to say his, his, his name that she called him. She was like, what's this, Mike? What's this, Mike? Like, what's this? Like, it ain't even been a week yet. She was saying shit like, it ain't even been a week yet. And you already got another bitch in a car. I didn't even get disrespectful. I was just sitting there looking like, what the fuck is going on? Like, who is that chick? You feel me? That's how I was at the time. I was like, who the hell is this girl? This boy had the nerve to tell the girl. I was so hurt. I was so crushed. Not only was I crushed, I was hurt. This boy turns at his girlfriend and says, Man, this is my auntie. So, I got so pissed off. I didn't say fuck nigga, bitch ass nigga, why you sitting here lying? I didn't even go back and forth with him and this bitch. Okay? This is what I did. I look at that nigga. I open the door. I get the fuck up out of there. I got out of his car. And... I met him through my sister's ex. You feel me? My sister's ex at the time. I met this dude through my sister's ex. He saw me at somebody's house. I was turned up. Dancing. Getting my twerk on. You feel me? I was <laughs> getting my twerk on. And he saw me there. No lie. The same day he saw me, he took me home. Did he take me home or did I follow him? He followed me home. He followed me. No, I have my own web boo. Yes. He follows me home. And that was the first time we met. First time, no, I did not speak with him. Nope. It was not that easy. It was not that easy. Nope. Boo. I'm not that easy. But um, back to the long story that's short. I swear to God, if he ever seen this video, he would know exactly that I was talking about him, okay? You don't do that. You don't do that to a girl that has never been disrespectful to you. You don't do that, okay? You don't do that type of stuff to us. Make the long story short, back to the story. She was like, who is this? And he goes, man, that's my auntie, cousin, something like that. Something in that nature. He said I was his auntie or his cousin, one of them. I think he said I was his cousin. I think that boy said I was his cousin. <laughs> that's not the first time that I had a dude tell his bitch that I was his cousin. Like, bitch, do I look like cousin type? I mean, I am cousin type. I got a couple of cousins. But do I look like cousin type? No. No. I'm not cousin type, boo. No. It wasn't cousin type. But he was like, man, that's my cousin. I got out of the car so fast. Went in the house. Okay, in our house, we have a front door. In the back, we have a glass door. And on the side of the house where that room that I told y'all that was turned into, a, the garage that was turned into a room, it has a side door. I bust in that side door so fast. Y'all won't believe what just did. Y'all won't believe what just did. I told y'all I ain't gonna say no names. Had the nerve to tell this I was his cousin. I'm so hurt right now. I was so mad. I was like, I'm so hurt right now. You don't understand. You don't understand. I was so hurt. I was so hurt. Boy. And, and for some reason, when I do go back into town, I always wake up. I 
have no idea why. I don't know why bitches like to fuck up other bitches. Content, knocking on the door, about to break the door, because she about 400 pounds. It's a 400 pound woman outside my door right now. She about 400 pounds. Y'all need to understand, the woman outside this door right now that's doing all that extra stuff, she about 400 pounds and she mad because she can't lose weight. And she just mad because she tried to go on a diet last year and it didn't even work. She about 400 pounds and I'm going to help her. Listen, I'm going to help her out as much as I can. But I can't help her lose 300 pounds in less than a month. I can't do that. I am not a miracle worker. I am not a miracle worker. I just made miracles happen. Y'all, she no, boo, you need to go somewhere and get out of my video. Like, how you in my video, but we don't even see your face? She about 400 pounds, and she mad because she can't get a man.